need. Yes, after talking into the wee hours of the morning, Germany's biggest parties finally agreed to form a coalition. This is Wednesday and I'm Monica Gibson with today's Press Review. It's taken two months and a 17-hour marathon of negotiations, but Angela Merkel's Conservatives and the centre-left Social Democrats reached a deal on forming a grand coalition, meaning she should be able to form a government by Christmas. The deal was clinched at around 4am GMT and appears to contain conditions which both sides said they could live with. Germany's two dominant political polks have already pledged millions in fresh spending on pensions, education and infrastructure, but offered little detail on how they would fund the new programmes without raising taxes. The result is good for our country and has a conservative imprint, said Hermann Groy, Secretary General of Merkel's Christian Democrats. He added no new taxes and no new debts. Merkel has made concessions to the SPD on the economy, agreeing to a minimum wage of 8.50 per hour, tighter rules for employers and pension hikes, despite howls of protests from business. Just before dawn, the bargaining stalled on how to fund this without Merkel breaking a campaign promise. Carsten Nickel, a political analyst at Tenio Intelligence, said the SPT had realised after flirting with the idea of common Eurozone bonds that the domestic political consensus does not reward any large-scale deviation from Merkel's path. Martin Schulz, president of the European Parliament and senior SPD negotiator, called it an excellent result for his party, whose participation in a Merkel government still depends, however, on a ballot among 474,000 card-carrying SPD members. The last grand coalition suited Merkel but prompted SPD left-wingers already bitter about Labour reforms launched by the last SPD Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder to leave in droves. Some of those reforms are now being watered down but the members' ballot is still risky and a no vote could mean a new German election and a coalition between Merkel and the Greens. Schobler is still fighting to stay finance minister, but positions and more details of the deal are still to be revealed once it's ratified. Even still, the euro has been on a tear since the announcement, pushing back into a bull mood, with the euro yen up some 90% and hitting the 138 mark. The final result of the deal will be reached in 14 days and of course the Dukoscopy TV team will keep you updated with the very latest, but for me and for now, it's goodbye.